What's up everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. I'm Rebel and today I'm going to tell you 10 things that you absolutely need to know before you buy your first pair of roller skates. If you're in the market, you're trying to find some roller skates, you're trying to figure out which ones to buy, today this video is going to help you immensely. So definitely watch until the end because each of these 10 tips are very, very full and good and packed with good information for you to know before you start trying to get roller skates. Skates is a YouTube channel full of roller skating tutorials, reviews, general roller skating lifestyle videos. So if you want to become a roller skater or if you're a roller skater who's been roller skating forever, I definitely recommend that you subscribe. I put out new videos every Tuesday. And don't forget to like and comment on this video. It really helps to spread all of this information to any potential roller skater. And I really think it is important that they get this information. And if you want to support me or my channel, you can shop at www.cheerstothequeers.com. Watching this video is going to be really important because I'm going to give you the most real down to earth advice that you could possibly find anywhere. I doubt that people are talking about all of these things because I just want you to have all of the information that you could possibly think of that you might need. I wish that someone had told me all of these things before I bought my first pair of roller skates. And I think that there's so much information out there right now that getting roller skates can be really, really overwhelming. And so I've broken it down into 10 things to really consider and to think about before buying those roller skates. The first thing that you need to know before getting your first pair of roller skates is that everyone's feet are totally different. So this idea that there's like the best pair of roller skates is literally a myth. There is no best pair of roller skates ever. Like that is not real. Everyone is going to have different roller skates that are going to be the best for them. So like if I have a pair of roller skates that I absolutely adore and I'm obsessed with, for example, I'm obsessed with the Moxie Jackboot. But just because those are the best roller skates for me doesn't mean that they're going to be the best roller skates for you. And so when you go online or when you talk to other skaters and you hear all of this advice about what the best pair of roller skates are, everyone's going to have a different opinion about what the best ones are. And in reality, there are skates that are going to fit your feet better, whether your feet are narrow or wide or whether you need more ankle support or less ankle ankle support, all of these things factor into making the best roller skate. So I have a lot of people that ask me, what's the best roller skate for beginners? And to be completely truthful, there is no one best roller skate for all beginners. It is a best roller skate that will be the best for you individually as a new roller skater. Now this isn't to say that there aren't skates that are definitely like the Mercedes of skates or skates that are clearly not well made that wouldn't be as good as others. There's still like a skate hierarchy and there are also skates that are more quality than other skates, but that doesn't necessarily mean that those quality skates are going to be the best ones for you to start out with. So that's just something to go into it knowing. And just because a skate is the most quality doesn't mean that you have to get them. And that also doesn't mean that you're going to like them the most. So if you try a skate that everyone's like, oh my gosh, these are the best skates, but you hate how they feel on your foot, don't feel pressured to continue skating in that skate past the break-in period, obviously. If you're like, oh, I hate how these feel, try something else. See if those ones work better for your foot. The next thing you need to know is that there are 
imported skates and there are skates that are made in America. The main difference between imported and made in America skates is oftentimes the imported skates are created in kind of a mass production type of a way, whereas made in America skates, a lot of them are handmade. For example, like I know that Harlix, every skate is made custom to the person who's skating's foot or like all Rydell skates are handmade and multiple people are touching them and creating those skates for you. So there could be a difference in quality when you're looking at a skate that is imported versus a skate that is made in the USA. And so when you're looking at roller skates to buy, maybe do a little research and find out if those skates are imported or if they are handmade in the USA. And I'm not trying to say that one is better than the other, but with one, you're going to experience a little bit more quality and a little bit more attention to detail as opposed to the other. The next thing that you need to figure out or know before investing in your first pair of roller skates is what is your primary purpose for buying these skates? Are you buying these skates because you want to join roller derby and you need skates to play roller derby? Or are you buying skates because you're trying to figure out just how to trail skate and how to skate in general? Or are you buying skates and you plan on learning how to dance skate? Like what is your goal? Knowing your goal will help you to pick from the variety of different types of skates there are because trust me, there are so many skates. There are skates with heels and boots. There are skates that are custom skates and could literally just be like vans that are turned into skates. You have skates that are lower on the ankle. You have skates with no heels. You have just a plethora of options and knowing what type of skating you are mainly interested in will help you not only pick out a pair of skates for yourself, but will also help you decide like if your skates are able to be switched out with wheels, like what wheels you want to get and what different features you really want within your skate. Once you figured that out, then you can start looking into like, okay, what are some good skates for jam skating? What are some good skates for park skating? What are some good skates for roller derby? And then go from there. That will definitely help to narrow down your search and help you to get the right type of skates for whatever it is that you are doing. Now, I don't want this to be limiting to you because there are a lot of people who say that certain type of skates can only be used for certain types of skating. I'll give you an example. A lot of people say that in roller derby, you can't use moxie lollies or jack boots. I know for a fact that that is not true. Just because it is traditionally not the skate used for beginning a sport or for playing in a sport doesn't mean that it's not possible. I have seen people absolutely kill it in roller derby on moxie lollies. Does that mean that they're the best skate for derby? Probably not because usually speed skates are a little bit better for derby. However, that doesn't mean that you can't do it. And for some people, it might be actually better for them to use lollies for derby than to use other types of skates. And I know that's a controversial opinion. However, I'm just saying a lot of times we have these limiting perceptions of what we can do with our skates. And in all reality, a skate is a skate. And so if it rolls and you're just starting out, really? That's what you want. You want something that's gonna roll and it's gonna keep you safe. The next thing that you want to know when you are picking out roller skates is if you want adjustable or bolt-on toe stops. Now the difference between adjustable and bolt-on toe stops, I show you in a full video up here. But in short, an adjustable toe stop means that the toe stop is able to be higher or lower on your skate, but a bolt-on toe stop will be the same height and will then just wear down and get higher as the toe stop itself wears down. 
The reason why knowing this is important is because when you buy a skate and it has a bolt-on toe stop, you can't switch to an adjustable toe stop without changing the whole plate of the skate. So going into buying roller skates, you want to know, do you want an adjustable toe stop or a bolt-on toe stop? And really consider that in when you're purchasing a skate. Next is that you need to decide what level of ankle support that you want or need. Now, there are a lot of people out there that will tell you whether or not a skate is good based on the level of ankle support that it provides. Now, I think that it is important to know how much ankle support that a skate provides, but I don't think that ankle support is a requirement for any skate. All skates do not have ankle support and different skates have different levels of ankle support. If you are a person who needs that ankle support, maybe your ankles are weak, maybe your ankles are very, very flexible and you're worried about them moving all sorts of ways when you're skating, or maybe you're a person who is like, I don't need ankle support, I have very strong ankles, then you should know that and analyze your own self and your own feet going into this purchasing of roller skating experience. The number one thing that I really want to come across here is that ankle support is a preference. You do not need it and you don't not need it. Ankle support is something that you as a skater need to decide whether or not you want. For me, I prefer having a lot of ankle support. So all of my skates have a lot of ankle support in them because that is my preference. I have pretty weak ankles, I've broken my leg before, and so I now am like, I want as much support as I can get. But that's not true for all people, and it also is not a requirement for being a good skater either. That being said, I would be wary of skates that are heeled skates and don't have ankle support as a beginner skater because those ones can be a lot more dangerous than ones that do have a lot of ankle support. A lot of times when you're starting skating, ankle support can be a really, really good thing because your feet aren't used to moving in the ways that you're moving them when you're skating. And they also can um, just be weak in general because you haven't really used your ankles as much as you're going to when you are skating. Tip number six, and this is going to be a truth bomb. When you first start roller skating, you do not need the absolute best skates. And the reason why this is, is because as a beginner skater, honestly, all of these bells and whistles that really can like make the skate amazing and all these things, you won't even be able to tell the difference because you're just learning how to roller skate. When you're learning how to roller skate, you're really not going to be able to tell the difference in nuance between different styles of bearings or in different like aspects of the weight of different plates. Like you you are probably not going to be able to recognize a lot of that because you're just learning how to do the first few things, which is to stride and to move forward and to stop and to fall. All of those things don't require the absolute best roller skates. When you're first starting roller skating, I recommend that you get something that rolls and isn't gonna just break down on you immediately and put you in danger. For example, don't buy plastic wheels or plastic plates, that is dangerous. But if it's a roller skate, it rolls, and it's not like harming you in any way, then you should be good when you're first starting out. What I would recommend is that you figure out what you're comfortable spending and then you go from there. Another thing is that just because something is sold out doesn't mean that you like can't start skating. For example, if I was to say decide to start running but all of the best running shoes were sold out, I wouldn't just give up on my dream of starting running. I would just get a lesser pair of running shoes and then start running and then upgrade once the best running shoes were available. 
Same thing with skates. Just because the skate that you really, really want isn't available right now specifically, doesn't mean that you can't start skating. Get yourself another pair of skates and then sometime down the line when those skates are available, then you can upgrade. Number seven is that what you spend is what you are going to get. Now, I'm not trying to say to go and spend like a crap ton of money on roller skates right away when you're not sure if this is a hobby that you really want to get into and invest in. But what I am saying is that when you spend like, for example, $100 on a pair of skates, those skates are definitely going to deteriorate quicker and not be as durable as skates that are $300, $400 skates. Now, I highly wouldn't recommend getting any skates that cost less than $100 because $100 is a pretty standard of like, okay, I can make like decent skates for this amount of money, any less than that, and you're probably going to end up getting some sort of plastic plate or plastic wheels or different parts of the skate that won't necessarily be high enough quality to withstand any type of real roller skating. So very important that you recognize that however much money you put into it, that's the quality that you're going to get. If you're just trying to invest in it for a short amount of time and be like, hey, I'm going to drop $100, $150 and just see if this is a hobby for me, great. That's awesome. Then consider upgrading later or invest in something that's like $180, $200 that will last you maybe several years. And it is kind of wild that the jump between $100 skates and $200 skates is the difference between durability for years as opposed to months, but that really is the reality. And so knowing that going into it, you can make calculated decisions in your head about what you're willing to spend. Another thing to really know is that when you purchase like an, an $100 pair of skates, not all of them, but a lot of them are going to need upgrades. And when you're upgrading your skates, like getting new toe stops or getting different wheels or upgrading your bearings or anything like that, getting new laces, like all of those things are going to cost you money. So what I would do is I would recommend if you're considering upgrading your skates, I would really look into like, oh, what is it going to cost to upgrade skates? And then if I just added that amount of money onto the original amount I put down, would that equal the same amount as a pair of skates that I wouldn't have to upgrade anything and then I'd be able to just skate and use them for years? Definitely something to consider. That being said, there are also skates out there that are overpriced and will still deteriorate just as quickly as skates that are in that like a hundred ish dollar price point. And so I definitely recommend doing your research in what like the quality of the material and everything that goes into the actual skates that you are looking into getting. If you have the ability, try on as many skates as you possibly can. And what I mean by this is that there are so many skates out there. There are so many options and there are different styles of skates and different skates and different companies that could produce skates are going to have different feels to their skates. So some will be tighter, some will be better for wider feet, some will be more plush on the inside, some will have like a thinner layer, some will be more heavy, some will be lighter. And so the more skates that you're able to actually try on on your foot and feel how it feels, the more knowledge you're going to be about which ones are best for your feet. Because again, remember big theme of this whole video is that roller skates are an individual experience. So even the best skates for your best friend who goes with you to also get skates might not be the skates for you. So try on some low top skates, try on some high top skates, try on some skates with heels, some without heels. Think about all of the different options that you have and try and get as many on your feet as possible before buying skates. Now I'm aware for most people this isn't really an option, but if you do have this as an option, take it. If you have a local skate shop, 
go in there, try on some different skates. Even if they don't have your size and the type that you're looking for, then you might be able to find it online later after having tried on those skates and having that experience. The next thing that you need to know before buying a pair of roller skates is that lots of different people have lots of different opinions and you shouldn't let everyone who has an opinion sway you in a direction of buying a certain pair of skates. So lots of people are going to have lots of advice for you if you decide to start roller skating. I mean, just look at the amount of channels on YouTube that talk about how to roller skate and the best roller skates and all those different things. When you are trying to figure out what skates you should get, you should listen to as many different opinions as possible and then take all of those different opinions and really consider them and then think about what you want the most, not just what your favorite YouTuber, your favorite influencer, whatever, thinks are the best. So really make that pros and cons list. Think about what you want and what your dreams of when you're skating. And all the advice that people are giving you, take that with a grain of salt because it might not apply to you yet. There is advice that I give on my channel that if you are an absolute beginner, you should just ignore because you aren't even at that point of skating yet. So a lot of the things that you see people talking about, different upgrades to skates, different things to consider when you're looking at your skates or thinking about switching skates, that might not apply because you're just looking for something that's gonna get you through that first month or two and see like, is this gonna be a good hobby for me? Is this something that I want to be involved in? Or just get you through that learning process. What I would say is the absolute most important piece of advice, number 10, the last one, is to do your research. Find out about the specs of the skates that you're interested in. What kind of material are they made with? What are the wheels that come with it? What is the plate that comes with it? What's the quality of those things? So it's really, really important that before you just jump on a trend and get a different pair of skates because a lot of influencers are wearing them and they're really cute, really make sure you know, like, what is this skate made out of? Is this skate gonna be durable? Is this skate gonna be good for me? So knowing those things by doing your research and you can Google, you can watch different YouTube videos, you can do anything to really find out the information about that skate that you're considering buying. That is really, really important to do before you start actually purchasing roller skates. Now, I will say that going to buy roller skates is very overwhelming because there's so much to know and there's so many different parts of the roller skate that it's hard as a beginner to know what makes a skate good or what makes a skate not as good. And what I would say is when you are looking, like say you're struggling between two skates and you're going back and forth between the two and both of them look really good to you, that would be a good time to reach out to someone and say, hey, I'm looking at this skate and this skate. I know that both of these are gonna be good for me. Is there one that you prefer over the other? Now, if you don't have anyone to reach out to or you don't feel comfortable reaching out to someone and asking about what skate would be best for you, one thing to know is that when you have a hard decision to make, so for example, choosing between two types of skates that you think would both be awesome for you, you can go back and forth between these two types of skates forever and ever and ever. But one thing that communication studies research says is that when you have a really difficult decision to make between two options, the reason why it is a difficult decision and what makes it more and more of a hard decision is because both of the options are viable and good for you. If only one of the options was good, then that decision would be super easy and you would just go for that choice. But because both of them are good options, then it's hard to make the decision. So if you feel yourself being stuck in that point where you don't know which one to choose because they both seem like they would be awesome, just make a random choice because either one of them is going to be really good for you moving forward. Remember that buying a pair of roller skates isn't 
the same as getting a tattoo. If you get a pair of roller skates and you don't like them, then you can always sell them and buy a new pair of roller skates. Or you can try them out for a few months and then buy a new pair or upgrade down the road. So buying a pair of roller skates, although it feels like a lot of pressure and very overwhelming, is something you definitely can do and is also the start of a wonderful, amazing adventure. And I'm so excited for you. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Queer Girl Straight Skates. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Send this video to any of your friends who are thinking about buying a pair of roller skates, please spread this message. It's very, very important. And if you want to support me, you can follow me on Instagram at Queer Girl Straight Skates. You can buy from my shop, cheerstothequeers.com, or you can become a Patreon and support this channel by watching vlogs and stuff like that that come with being a Patreon. I hope you have a wonderful day today. If you end up getting a pair of skates, put them down in the comments so I can see what you end up getting. And congratulations on your new exciting adventure as a roller skater. And most importantly, cheers to the queers! I've got a